Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day and staying safe. So today, I don't know how long I'm going to do this for. I'm just going to see how it goes and do some random bits. Kind of decided that I may do a, like a shout out video each week from either next week or something so I'm not 100% sure on that as I just don't know yet Hi Rekka Woo, how are you today? I hope you're well and staying safe and missed meeting you around too it always make me laugh. Just a shame YouTube's Hi Sherry the Aggie, how are you today? I hope you're well and staying safe. And great videos, always enjoy, enjoy relaxing to those as scratch card videos really do relax me. Unless I try and film one myself, then that can be a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> I'm always in trouble, Wickerwoo. <laughs> I've not actually had the helmet on for a while. I haven't. I've kept it off. Neck is okay-ish. But there has been another problem that's been stressing me out like crazy since Christmas. And it's not m one of my problems. It's something that happened just before Christmas and that's really been bothering me so that's probably why I'm a bit iffy at the moment and I can actually say what it is it's just my mum got hurt and has done a tooth in and can't really eat anything at, any, at the moment so that's stressing me out the only thing she's really eating is soup so that's really stressful she's not eating the right foods and so on and the hospitals are not really helping or seeing anyone so a bit grumpy on that account Sherry, them videos are great, and especially the lives. <laughs> I know I don't always get seen in everyone's lives or for scratch cards, because I really don't talk much, but it really is my hands are sore from either trying to edit stuff and fouling, or trying to film Lego build videos for fun, and never come out as good my mum's eats mashed potato yeah and a lot of soup but I'm just feeling bad because it's like the Christmas candy that she would got for Christmas she couldn't have any of it because it really hurts all the time and the doctors are just not seeing anyone for mouths and it's next to impossible to get appointments at the 
um, dentist. So I just feel bad about that. But at least uh, one of the other problems was sorted before Chris um, a couple of weeks ago, which was of extremely big help, and I'm super thankful to VA for that as that help really did help. Annoying the water bills and a non-stop leaking tap really can be stressful. <laughs> but I have been trying a lot of Swedish candy, which I've got another one that I'm definitely going to be trying soon but I wanted to save it, it's from Croatia, which the Swedish traveller got me, well sent me. So this has been to, from Croatia to Sweden to the UK, so it's been on a good travel. <laughs> Gets out more than me. I just check and sync on the message as I always read and respond to my Instagram because I can. <laughs> Got all the pets at Wickerboo. <laughs> I don't know which one I'm more excited to have tried, the, this one, which is Oreo, and the chocolate for this is really nice and really cool. Hi Paul, how are you today? I hope you're well and staying safe. <laughs> Definitely lots of pets you've got, Wickerwoo. <laughs> but I think this is one that's going to be in the last of the videos, or even just going to get from uh, around the world kind of thing, because I think because of it being a different item, well, from a different country other than Sweden, I'm going to do that from a different country rather than... I might actually just lay it from Croatia because that's where it's from. But I'm looking forward to that one the most. And there's quite a few things. Everything's okay, Dad Paul, as it must be stressful. And I hope the rest of your family is doing okay, as really must just be str super stressful, as I know how I feel about it, really, and it's just totally dressing me out as well. <laughs> I think that actually looks really interesting, Wickerwoo, because I've not had um, that style of chocolate for a long time. I can only imagine, Deadpool, that that must have been really tough. 
I'm not going to say much now about what I think of the fo the stuff, but I did like these, and it's the more more of what will be well, I really like how much I like it, and ratings will be in videos because. I've got to keep that in mind, and if I do it in the video, I'll forget to post it. Definitely gonna do a video for these because these are interesting, and there's so many different things to try. Some of the stuff I've eaten, all of it. I actually love peanut butter and I haven't had it for ages. Um, yes, I believe they do. I haven't actually been out for a long time, so I'm not 100% on what they don't sell at the moment and it's literally 2019 December was the last time I went out so that was a real long time <laughs> but this even though I'm not going to say the name, just because it just doesn't sound right coming from me and I've avoided saying it in the video too. <laughs> but the licorice and bits inside that are really interesting. Good flavouring though. And the only other gingerbread thing I've got, and I still need to do video for this, as, but I will say I do really like the chocolate itself. That is really nice. And it does smell really good. The gingerbread stuff does. And I can't believe uh, how many packages I've actually gotten from the Swedish traveler with this. There's like three different packages, so it was super cool. Ooh, there's still one left. Yum. Oreo bites. <laughs> oh good, at least I won't fall over this time, Wickerwoo. <laughs> Or nearly fall over. Luckily the door was about, say, that far from the box. <laughs> so roughly four foot. This I actually thought was quite interesting. A nice mix and having a... I really like the first one I had of these, which was really good. Okay, so I'm definitely going to fall over then. <laughs> Should I save for forklift, Wickerwoo? <laughs> I technically can say about this one because I've had this before but the video may have been lost or may not. <laughs> I agree Rickawoo, shipping is killer and at the moment it's lucky nothing's been sent because I think I've nothing from the US has got to the to me so I think they're not even not sending it or they are just going bin it because we're not going to send it kind of thing 
or they're doing quarantine certain items or certain countries but this one of the packages was opened and I believe there may be one item missing as Peter did say there was a brownie of some kind and there was nothing with brownie in it yeah I'm just hoping that's all it is Rikawo because it makes me feel really really bad because it does cost a lot to just send something like this to me and it, it's literally $15 a time for one of those and if that one on the giveaway because I did win one from Howard Matlock as something and because of the whole not knowing if things are being sent I didn't bother messaging him about it because I really don't want people to waste money on me if stuff's not getting sent for who knows how long. That's got an interesting taste. The Marshmallow Santas. I think I'll leave that for video for what the flavouring is done. <laughs> Because the last package I allowed to send, well, allowed myself to message about was Scratch of King, and that one it was literally after that, so I decided not to allow things because of like this. It must have taken about a week or about the normal two weeks to get here and that was before Christmas and I can't remember when the Sun City coin was won so that's a bit of a forgetful issue it is and this I will actually say a little bit about good flavour actually really like these and it's because I've had them as the chews not the on a stick so that's the only reason I'm, I can mention that because I actually posted that video already I think with the packet of them but I think I prefer the packet as it's a paper sticks and paper sticks get wet and then they fall apart. But they actually come off the stick if they're warmed a little bit. This I'm going to have to try next because I know that I'm getting something this week that I've been really needing to try and get some more light in this room. So that should be here, I think, within a, this week or next week. As I just don't know the exact times on things. And this I filmed already. So if I haven't filmed it, I can't open them and they actually lasted me three days four days as i was just eating them slowly and these two days because i was really hungry i was and i think there might be one more Ooh, these black licorice which I do like and they'll come in handy 
for indigestion and so on. But I quite like um. So how's everyone's day been? Because my day's been a bit iffy. <laughs> I had rice and um, sausages today. Forgot what I had to get nearly. <laughs> Another mistake to blame on the weatherman. Oh, and I think as I've shown all of that, I need a second or two to see if I've got anything else nearby to show. Uh, I can talk while this is up. So I designed, well, the designs I had were all added yesterday to the merch site. I know the one I'm definitely going to get when I find where that is is the zip hoodie of this I might get that first and it has the small logo on the front and the big logo on the back and that was all drawn by me and designed about four years, maybe six. I should really have looked at the date when I uploaded that one. But I've now got, let's go back to the main ones. I've also got the t-shirt as well, which I said suggested to put up cheaper. <laughs> just because it really doesn't matter what they make. So I've got the zip hoodie in the Canadian logo as well, as I wanted all my logo versions to be done eventually. Mostly because I worked really hard on like the Canadian flag as that was tricky to do. Yeah, I'm going to put the link in in a second. It is actually on the main, my main page, the link is. But I do forget to put that in. But that's my merch store, so if you want to look at it properly and better, you can see it better. I always get a cold neck, so I wanted something silly for when it's a really cold day out or something like that so I had to go with the shark eating my logo <laughs> as I just thought that was funny as I wanted a cartoon shark <laughs> Yeah, Sean thought it was good too. <laughs> I me show, talk to him about the designs and see what he thinks before I even show them. But I thought that was extra funny as why not? I still have no clue what colour I really need to get for that because I did go a bit overboard and say all colours because even white looks good purple yellow of course, orange
Originally, this actually was put on when we sorted the prices out. It was actually saying uh, they want that the site was suggesting it was put on for thirty for nearly thirty pound. So I said to Sean, "No, we we just laughed and said, no, nope, it's going to be cheaper." <laughs> So we definitely made that cheaper. Otherwise, it would have been dearer than my, the T-shirt. <laughs> but it is a cool design. My only other version of that would have been a oh, what was it? Like a Power Ranger cost mask. Well. Part of the mask, uh, well, for the mouth and uh, b bars like a gel thing. You can't see the mouth, you can only see bits of the mouth through the bars, and the rest of it's bricked up. It definitely was fun to design that. I actually played around with that and put back secret of productions like other channel on in the mouth as well. <laughs> I literally, that was literally what I sent Sean first was the the sub subscriber zeros channel logo, <laughs> as I thought that was just funny having the shark. Eat his logo. <laughs> and let's see one of the others. I've got American as well in the guitar, at least. With, and I think this is it, the US one. So it's mo it's interchangeable for whichever country, as I enjoy seeing all versions of it, and there's solely for fun that it was a multi version region logo. Well, actually, I've only done five, but they're not been made yet. The other two haven't. Sweden and Australia are the other two that I have got designed. But me have been told On the 14th, I've got to do a live, and I've got to have these. <laughs> so, check out Ali Mum's channel, which will be the channel that I'll be trying those on. As I'll be joining her for fun and games with her, with Ali trying some different things that she has found. <laughs> so, I get the Fiery Five Beans to try on the 14th <laughs> and hopefully I'll be feeling a hundred percent or at least in well enough to do it as that is it's going to be fun another thing I was thinking about I've got video mm -hmm. 
I agree. Um, the thing I've been thinking about was I've got a video that I filmed uh, on Christmas, which is um, well, unwrapping Funko Pops. But I don't know if I should refilm it or if I should re just leave it as it is and post it next week. As it is a good one and it'll be good either way but I just don't know which I want to do. It's easy enough to film it just as it is, but I can either show the original on a live only kind of thing, or just post it and hope that it's still watched. <laughs> Hmm. So I'll get to work on it tomorrow as I've got to film a small ending to that video anyway because you needed uh, one of the Funkos added. I don't think it would be long enough. It's uh, roughly six minutes. It is. The video is, I think. It's a channel worth checking out, which is Big Money Scratchers, and that's the coin from that 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 channel. And it is super cool. I just don't like premiering videos too much because I know when everyone goes live and I keep posting and I only get really time to sit down around one o'clock and everyone's live at one. <laughs> also, yeah the coin's really colourful and really really nice and it does scratch quite well. And here's Rono Scratch's coin, which was one on my birthday. With my lucky number 28. So that was pretty cool. And this may have been one with me guessing the number 17. <laughs> So this is 2020's coin and she's getting a new one soon so who knows I could win that one and have both of them. <laughs> but I have won quite a few different things like that and Miss Money's money clip which is for scratching as well which I haven't used yet but I have used it to hold money I have <laughs> and lottery tickets That photo Wicker Woo is so cool. <laughs> Got cheeky kitty and puppies sleeping. <laughs> I, re I wanted one of those, I just never got the money when I 
for it as it's like 15 just for the chip to be sent <laughs> you have quite a few cats and puppies that don't you I, I just can't remember specific numbers I think it's three of each maybe I'm terribly forgetful. I know you have cats that live outside. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> and I've definitely got to get his t-shirt eventually as soon as I've got money. I do, do need to also fix the channel with a camera of all things so I can film the, not film, do the live Lego, so that's kind of bugging me, but I've got maybe the light issue sorted, so that's hopefully going to be fixed a bit more, and hopefully there'll be a bit more light on my lives at least. And hopefully it doesn't blind me. Shame. Oh yeah, now I remember. <laughs> and I've seen two, and it's like, how many pets, and I get forgetful. <laughs> Yeah, we used to have a cat that lived outside that was around for ages and then we saw it a couple of times and it worked. And it would just come in, sit around with us and or go to the upstairs bedroom and sleep. <laughs> so it'd like to come in to sleep. And then it'll go back out for for as long as it wanted. Yeah, very tired today. I really quite possibly shouldn't have done this, but I at the same time also really needed the company. <laughs> Yeah, I'd go and sit on one of the beds. <laughs> You'd go and sleep on my sister's bed, and she's allergic to cats. <laughs> but I would always go to the same spot. <laughs> it was such a lovely little cat. I found out the hard way if you pretend to annoy the uh, cat for too long they sit on your back if you're sitting on the floor or just sitting on the steps listening to music and try not to move so it was very funny that all of a sudden there's a cat sitting on my shoulders <laughs> So I couldn't even move an inch, cause otherwise it would have fell to the floor. <laughs> mm, 
Wiggle that's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, li there's literally, I'm not joking, it was sat there specifically on my neck and my back, so I couldn't move and I was just looking at like the floor and just like that and then all of a sudden I felt something crawling up my back <laughs> and then it's decided, hey I'm comfy here, don't move. <laughs> Our neighbours had this really, really lovely cat that used to come in, have a bit of attention, then it would go and find itself its favourite chair and it would just sit there for a half hour and nap. Then it would go out. <laughs> but it was always on a nice warm day where there was a slight breeze, so it didn't matter if the door was open all night for ages. <laughs> yeah, definitely did. <laughs> I wish I could had my phone because I've got a photo of my neighbours. Well, I think they may have moved, but the cat that they had, it would literally sit, come into the back garden, go to the door, look at it, and meow. Then I'd feel guilty and let it in <laughs> every day. Would it, it wouldn't take food, it just come in for the attention, <laughs> it did. <laughs> As there was a cream cake next, uh, just uh, on the chair and it walked past it, didn't even look at it or smell it, just walked past, walked around the room, then left. <laughs> So that was really funny. <laughs> there is an old video where I was just like tapping the dirt and uh, and all of a sudden the the cat was there and well I was trying to get dig up roots and things. I would moved a bit of dirt and all of a sudden the, the cat's paws are there and it's trying to just scratch at the ground and everything it was so funny i filmed it for and posted it on youtube but it's only a minute long video and it was probably the first video i actually put up well second no third maybe hi horror collector fiend how are you today I hope you're well and staying safe. Bit of bad news with the Harry Potter sweets. I got hungry the other day and I didn't film any of the Swedish videos so I had nothing to eat so they're all gone. <laughs> So I'm out of those at the moment, so I'm going to have to get some more. <laughs> Although I think I need more of the, of the Fiery Five, as that would be interesting if that would be the first Jelly Bean that I've disliked. You know, I've had the cinnamon ones and the 
other hot ones so I know they really can be hot and if I raid that kitchen I get into a lot of trouble <laughs> as half the f good food is either my mum's or my brother's I get all the gluten free rubbish okay some it is good because some of it and the gluten free stuff actually is was nice like the candy <laughs> I've watched but I've not had the audio on it's literally been while well, I've been editing videos so I'm literally like watching it and I've got like the tablet and doing things ooh cool my favourite peanuts I have to admit, are uh, honey roasted. That's my favourite. Yeah, I haven't had that for them for like three years, I think, maybe two. But if I film a video tomorrow, it'll possibly be this or one of the other chocolates that's got a lot of stuff in like the I just don't pick what I have my brother normally does that or my mum <laughs> she decides it's either sometimes I, my, I don't like them for a long time then I like them again Like I could probably eat these all year round if I had the, a box of them <laughs> and that's not an invitation to send me a box and plus they're from Sweden <laughs> I know I'm very lazy I think the last thing I asked for was Pokemon game and now it's out of my price range and I had the money for that too <laughs> you see how much it is today as it either goes really high or really low Oops, not. Actually, could do that for cut a little bit. Nope, I'm not logged in in, in any way, so I can show it today. Ooh, it's gone down two whole pounds. <laughs> But sadly the other one's gone up seven pound. So let's see this one. Let's try this and now I can share the page because I've got it. Mm -hmm. It's okay, I'm probably only going to be 
live for a little bit longer. But all those designs that were have been made was all done yesterday. And it took it did. So let's move this a little bit so I can see the whole of the chat. As I just don't need certain parts. Let's actually make it full screen because. No, I need to move that a little bit. Yay, I can see the chat and what I'm looking at. Right, so I've moved that, and I just look at these costumes for the fun of it at the moment. But there's got a B one that I can get soon. Kind of like the Flash one, even though it's not as much of a challenge to wear like it doesn't have a face mask so it doesn't have uh, anything to block too much if I played guitar in it <laughs> I definitely don't like the Batman one because he just doesn't look right with the neck showing. It, with, for Batman, for me, if it's not got the full attached help mask, it doesn't look right. Mm -hmm. I like the ones that look more authentic to the costume itself. Well, we found Infinite's costume. <laughs> no, it won't fit me. It'll fit Infinite. <laughs> Ali wants me to have to get Robin, but I think Nightwing looks better. <laughs> so, this one for Infinite. <laughs> Let's try and get the bigger shot in the middle because otherwise I've got to move this so I've got a mask <laughs> yeah definitely Batgirl for infinite <laughs> or the TV series the 1966 one or 1960, I don't know which one it is specifically. But I definitely like it because he wanted, he liked the skirt for the other one more. <laughs> for the Pink Ranger. And it's got some nice boots for him. <laughs> I can see him at the arcade in that one. <laughs> Oh, 
also it comes in bigger sizes, so he, it'll be fine for him. <laughs> I like that. Large is 30 and medium is 32.79. <laughs> that is just weird. Yeah, it definitely has to have the boots. <laughs> Let's look at some more. See if we can come across the 1961 as well. I wonder how much I'll probably I'll get into for this one. How about this one in the middle for Ali Mum? <laughs> and she does like Wonder Woman. <laughs> and I'm probably in a lot of trouble for that. <laughs> Not for me, Ali Mum. <laughs> she wants me to wear this one. Now she doesn't look too bad. But I still prefer Nightwing. And technically, if I got was to to get the Nightwing one, that would class as Robin. It's just the evolution version of Robin. Let's have a look at what you get with it for Ali. <laughs> as long as arms are 100% covered, I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, I think the headband looks a bit lame, like a kid's party prop toy. <laughs> so let's see if we can find something better. And it would help if I remembered what buttons did what on my laptop. But personally, out of 10, I would say an 8 on that one. As unlike the Power Ranger outfit that has my, would have my back covered. And... Oh cool, the belt's not attached so... Looks reasonable. Let's see what it says about it properly. 
The only downside is it's not my size. I need an extra large. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a mad, mad on it, but it does look okay. I prefer the Nightwing version. I like all the costumes without showing the face because like the Deadpool one and Spider-Man and I like the challenge that playing bass guitar or guitar with my eyes partially covered is a bit hard Duh, and will help me learn Venom, I like. The only thing I don't like is it's a jump, it's a bodysuit, and they can be quite revealing. I like the jumpsuits better, but we'll have a look at it anyway. Design is good. The only thing is, you've got to make sure you get every part of the costume in the right position. Otherwise, you, it looks will look really weird. That's why I like the other versions, the jumpsuit ones, which is what I've got in the Power Ranger one. And this one doesn't even show sizes. So let's go and find the next one. <laughs> Infinite wants the two two more. <laughs> Extra small would be way too small for me. <laughs> ah, this is the Robin I was looking at. I've actually got set seven pound. That if I if it was decided, I would possibly save up and get. But who knows? And it actually is in my size, so that kind of is bad for me. jumpsuit style but I don't think it has the built in muscles like the other one did or the Power Rangers ones do and it has the mask looks quite good as well on that one at least but that's like Batman saying goodbye to Robin, well Robin saying goodbye, I don't need you Batman, the outfit is. As I consider that one more out without Batman. And the uh, with Batman is more the traditional look.
but that's my size but I prefer the Power Ranger one over that one that I found but that's 30 or so this one's definitely a no because the Batman because it's not got the right helmet Another one for infinite. <laughs> it's kind of better, I think, maybe. Yeah, it's got the attached full on helmet. It's cool, I can do some more tomorrow, maybe. As the only other one I was going to look at tonight was this one. I definitely like the way the helmet is on this one but it does leave you unable to see the chat better It's cold. I should let end anyway because it's late. And I'm sleepy also. As I couldn't even find streaming apps just then. <laughs> cool. I'll be live again tomorrow around 2.30 which is roughly mm, the same time as this live if lucky thanks Rickory for being here thank you Sherry the Aggie also for being here and thank you Horror Fiend our collector fiend for being here and thank you Deadpool and I'm going to get some rest and catch up with some lottery videos then I'll go to bed so thank you everyone for being here have a great day stay safe and I will see you all again tomorrow or the something depending how things are planned. So, good night and stay safe.